Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today we come to a fantastic story and to a fantastic teaching about North Korea and something that appeared today. Kim Jong-un on a white horse. Is he the fake white horse rider? Let me switch over to this news. Here you see Kim Jong-un astride on a white horse on a snow-covered Mount Pektu. Listen, at, look at this. Is this the Antichrist? Are you seeing here a person that assumes a role to destroy the world? But more, imp more important is, if you check out Mount Pektu, the holy mountain where he is going to, to get clearance from the, his gods before he makes great decisions, look at the mountain now. This is a mountain, Mount Pektu. And what does it have? It has a heavenly lake, a heavenly lake inside. It is located here in this spot of North Korea to China. But more interesting is the story, what was behind it. The story about the first founder of Korea. His name is Dangun or Tangun. Tangun Wangyong. He is the first legendary founder and god king of the first Korean kingdom. More interesting, he is what? He is a grand, grandson of heaven and the son of a bear. And his kingdom is two, around 2300 BC or older, so a pre-flood kingdom. And now come to his story and you will fall down. The Tangun's ancestry legion begins with his grandfather Huanin, the Lord of Heaven. Huanin had a son, Huanun, who yearned to live on the earth among the valley and the mountains. Huanin permitted Huanun and 3,000 followers to descend on the Pektu mountain. Does that not sound like the Book of Enoch, the coming down of the fallen angels with 3,000 followers? On Mount Hermon, it is a similar story, and Huanang founded the city of God. Along with the ministers of cloud, rain, and wind, he instituted laws and moral codes and taught human various arts, medicine, and agriculture. That's the same story that Enoch told us, that the fallen angels came down and taught how to make war and weapons of war and medicine and arts and agriculture. It's a similar story. So we have the fallen angels in North Korea. Even they made acupuncture and all the other stuff they made there. They got it from the fallen angels. And then a tiger and a bear prayed to Huanun that they might become human. And he ordered them to eat sacred food and remain without sunlight for 100 days. Even that is amazing, without sunlight, we could have some references there. The tiger gave up, but the bear made it and became a woman. Is this genetic changing? Changing of the genetic code made out of an animal, a woman? And then this bear woman was grateful, made offerings to Huanong. But she lacked a husband, so she prayed to him. Don't remember, there's always prayer there involved. They made to pray to him to get a son. So this person then married her and created Dangun, the first founder of Korea or North Korea. This is a fallen angel, Wonung, coming together with an earthly woman, even if it's created out of beer, still an earthly woman. So the story of the fallen angels creating children with the women from us is again here in the story in North Korea. 
how amazing and then what comes out of fallen angels and women giants so Dangun Wangyo must be a giant a mighty warrior like the story of Nimrod and he created his first city of Asadal near Pyongyang and there you see this story it's a 2333 before Christ when he started his empire maybe even before that so we are definitely in a pre-flood time period so we are talking about fallen angels and we are talking about Satan and we are talking about giants and we are talking about the whole story that we find not only in the Bible but also in the book of Enoch amazing people amazing and then you have a, a holy mountain with a heavenly lake and you have Kim Jong-un on a white horse right now on that mountain where the fallen angels were so he is fully inspired and fully filled up now with the doctrine of the fallen angels and he might come forth as a part of the Antichrist and now look at it there is a mausoleum of this of this person of Dangun of this person and how is it shaped look at it look at it it is shaped as a pyramid can you imagine this is a grave I hope I can see it not take too long to come up it is shaped as a pyramid look at it it's in front of the beer because as a mother with a woman who allowed the fallen angels to have sex with her and then he was born but you have to look at it it is it is a pyramid that is on top so we have all the connection back to the fallen angel to pyramid even to Giza to many other places and this in North Korea now many pieces are falling into place if you look at that story the holy mountain the first emperor who was his father a fallen angel with a human woman he is coming down from heaven with 3,000 followers, the book of Enoch, fallen angels. And now you see Kim Jong-un on the white horse. An amazing story that is unfolding right now. Thank you that you have listened to this story and seen all that. This unbelievable what is going on here. I hope you can